What's up, everybody? My name is Austin Sand, and welcome to 60 Seconds, a game where you play as Ted with your lovely family of four, including uh, Timmy as the son, Mary Jane as the daughter, and Dolores as your wife. Um, what this game is, is we're going to be playing on Apocalypse, so we have 10 minutes to explore how 60 seconds, um, to, 10 seconds to explore how 60 seconds to find as much stuff as possible before the nuclear explosion hits us, and then we have to jump into our bunker, and hopefully this time it actually works with recording, let's do this. Also, this next part that you're about to see when I'm going to scavenge is really, really laggy, but when, it's not the main game, this is only a 60 second thing. So when we actually get into it, it won't be as laggy. W right now, my main priority is food and water, and yet this... I hate the controls on this game. Here we go. Go! Water. Okay. Uh, what's this thing? A uh, briefcase. Did that just take up three? Holy shit. Okay. Drop, 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 drop. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Checkboard. Checkers or whatever. Ooh, more water. Water, water, water. Oh, I need food. I need food. I need food. Um, axe. Protection. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. 30 seconds, oh, oh my god, it's almost been 30 seconds. Where's all the food at? Where's the kitchen, where's the kitchen? What's this thing? Uh, we need this, we need a flashlight, of course. Just in case, is this food? That's a padlock and that's cards, are you kidding me? Dude, I'm getting exactly what I don't need. I still have to pick up my family. No! Go, 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 go. Water, 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 water. Okay, got water. Gonna pick up, gonna pick up Dolores, I mean, Mary Jane, my big, big, big daughter. Uh, I can make one more trip, one more trip if it's quick, one more trip. I have, like, no food. Oh, no, fucking run. Run, run. No. I died. I'm gonna retry this. This time, getting food, water, Dolores, my wife, and... Food and water is my main priority. Fuck the others. The end. Already failed. Just because Dolores was the only one who went down there. What does it say? This is what the main game is. That part down there. What did it, what happened? You perished. God damn it. Because you play as Ted. Okay. Soup can be stored for 737 years. So that's the food that we're going to be getting. Soup. Here we go. Let's retry this. New game. Because it's my first time playing, we're actually going to be playing this on Little Boy. Uh, yeah, Little Boy. I'm okay with that. And then from then on, because I want this to be a series until I beat it, because I've heard that it's really hard. Radio, keep up with the world. So I like the military. I think I need a radio. Okay, so that's water. I'm not going for water. This time I want a lot of food. Where's my kitchen? Here it is. Deck of cards. Okay, where's the... Oh, here's all the food and my wife. My lovely wife. Here we go. Get all the soup. Get in all the soup. Okay. Soup. 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 Grab it. Ooh. Okay. 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 I hate how the setup switches every time. Here. I'm going to grab one of these two. No room for Timmy. Timmy is so small. Here we go. Grab some water. 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 I spent 15 seconds on that one run. I'm not okay with that. Put that in, put that in, put that in. Might as well just grab my children, they're already right here. There's one. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Here we go, here we go, here. Let's grab this stuff, what's this? Radio! Radio, don't want bullets right now. Water. No room for a briefcase, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're off to a pretty good start. Need a lot more water though. This isn't enough. Come on, give me stuff, give me stuff, give me stuff. Gas mask for outside exploration. Get this, get this. What's this, what's this over here? Um, food? Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna just... Am I good? Am I good? Can I pick up my wife? Can I pick up my wife? <gasps> no, I can't. Turn around, turn around, turn around. I was right there! Oh my god! Uh, I had it on the easiest difficulty. Oh my god. The end. Of course. I, of course. Just go straight to the menu. I'm not going through all that stupid shit. Oh my god. This is so annoying. I swear. Okay. Back to this part. Yay. New game. Apocalypse. Little boy. Here we go. This time. Food. Water. 
Food, water, med kit, briefcase, radio, cards. That's what I'm going for. Here's a briefcase. Here's Mary Jane. No. Ooh, the other side has a lot of stuff in it, though. I don't want a padlock. <gasps> oh, my God. I hit the jackpot, guys. Okay, where's... That's a gun. There's Timmy, a gas mask. Next room I'm going is that one. Oh, I, I can't put face cam on this yet. I will eventually, though. Ha, grab. 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 Okay, turn around, turn around, turn around, and drop, 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 drop. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. We're going for the gas mask. Move, you stupid lamp. Timmy, if that lamp kept getting in the way, I would not have been able to grab you, which I plan on doing here pretty shortly fucking lamp there we go break the lamp put you in there and then grab my wife and some more food oh damn okay we're doing good on the food food is no issue now we just need water and stuff um never mind we only we only need food food is life here we go here we go here we go here we go we're gonna drop this in here then we're gonna grab my little timmy yo timmy 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 and a flashlight because that might be necessary. There we go. There we go. There we go. I think we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. There. We're staying right here. Get out of here, Skype. Okay. Okay. Now we can actually play. Oh my god. This game. That that part just gets me anxious. Okay. Radio. Keep up with the world. Did I grab a radio? Please tell me I grabbed a radio. Dang it, Skype. Get out of here. Day one. I did not grab Mary Jane, but I I am so fine on soup and water. Because I heard you only have to um, feed them, what is it, every five days I heard? Okay. So, there's just en barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ration it strictly. We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Oh, so we got a Boy Scout handbook, um, checkers, a checkerboard, and a map. Okay, plenty of water means whatever. No, no one needs food right now. Okay. Here we go. Day two. Hopefully I don't have to cut these episodes. Dude, your beard grows fast. Okay. Uh, hopefully the Ted is fine. Everybody's fine. Looks like the area is irradiated. Okay, so we'll, let's start packing for a trip. I'll send Timmy out. Okay. Next day. What was that noise? It sounds like a little cockroach or something. Our radiation. We played I Spy and it was pretty fun. Whatever. You guys don't need food or water yet. We're gonna send out Timmy with Timmy. You're going to go out there with your bare hands, cause you're baby Bodvar. There you go. Okay, so we should be fine. Timmy just left. It's just me and Dolores. Okay, we're not going to feed him till um, tomorrow. We're discussing plans for our first meal that didn't feature tomato soup. When we heard yells outside, we discovered it came from a small group of ragged survivors. They were a sorry sight and weren't surprised when they requested aid. They asked us to provide anything we could, water, food, or medical. We're going to give them soup because we have so much of it. There we go. We're saving up on water. Now they get to be fed. Let's feed these two. I forgot to feed Timmy before he left. Crap. They gave us a radio. Okay. Dolores will not survive without what? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. We always steered away from casinos, gambling dens, and the like. So when a man came to our door and told us he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. He proposed a two water bottle bet and a card game of our choice. I'm not risking anything. No. Why would I go? Fuck that. Timmy's not back yet. Hopefully he's still he's alive. Here we go. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set for the kids? Um. No, we don't need anything. You maniacs, you blew it up. Ah, oh, damn you, damn you all to hell. Uh, that doesn't mean anything. Okay, so we're good. We're gonna feed them on day ten. It's day seven. I wonder how long this game is. Um, there's nothing much, no problems. Timmy is not back. That is a problem, though. I don't think he's returning. I hope, fully, he returns. No, nothing yet. 
Day 8, some mornings we feel a bit helpless. We need to pull ourselves together and be more optimistic. The army can't be far. All Ted wishes for a few drops he can wait. Um, hear that? Noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner. The one that's been locked tight ever since we got to the shelter. Let's check it with our flashlight. Whoa, growling? Oh my god, you got fucked up, Ted. Are you okay? What the hell? We barely made it out alive. It was a giant mutated crocodile or an alligator or something else with a giant mouth and plenty of teeth. Is anyone hurt? Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Ted was hurt. Do I have a med kit? I don't have a med kit. I'll feed them and then I won't give them food until the 14th because I don't want them to die. Okay. Oh, Timmy's back. Oh, Timmy, you are sick. Or tired. I can't tell. Timmy, you get food. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We are even more tired than we were, and there are other problems we, we need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be soon enough to scare raiders away. Um, and save us from our radiation sick. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We were about to give up and come back empty-handed. Timmy brought a can of food. Timmy fell, uh, Timmy fell sick. Timmy is really tired. Timmy, you're a man. There you go. Get that. Oh, crap. Go back. Okay. Uh, time to listen to some radio chatter. Maybe we could pick up. Okay, use the radio then. Dum 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 dum. Okay. Do we have a med kit now? Some friendly soul on the radio was talking about a supply pack as she'd lost during a trip through our town. We immediately realized she must have driven through our street. We rushed out and got the package before anyone else. We got a med kit. Food into water. Timmy or Ted? Ted is who I play as. Ted's my main priority. It's day 11. You guys don't need anything yet. Here we go. I want to send. Oh, God. I can't send any of you guys out. I'm not sending anybody else out because I can't afford Ted because I play as him. Day 12. Ted, you are looking good and fine. Except that. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait, that's the can. Okay. Um, day 12, Timmy is very hungry. Dolores has to drink sometimes. Dolores has rested. If Ted doesn't drink anything, okay. We don't need anything yet. Dolores says she can handle herself, but we're not sure. We're going to send Dolores out tomorrow. We keep sitting on our backsides here in the tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would have, would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own, the escaping part, not the ruining part. Of course, however, there might be someone out there. Okay, so, yeah. Use the radio. Of course. It's not noise. We knew it, the government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates on the radio. Blank, blank, blank. Oh, Timmy should eat something. You guys um, will have stuff for tomorrow. Dolores, though, I should be sending you outside. If I'm going to send you outside, I'm going to feed and drink you. And then I'm going to give you... You get... Dolores, you can have the... Gas mask. Go out there. Okay, I wonder how long Dolores can be out there. Day 14, time for you guys to get fed. And Dolores is on her way. Okay. Um, boom, boom. Can I use this? No, it's already been used. Okay. Uh, it's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning to a radio station and learning? Okay. You guys can get on the radio all you want. I don't care. Just don't break. Is that snoring I heard? I heard growling. Or something. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on surfs now. Um, Timmy already fed you. 
Uh, wouldn't it be fantastic if we could just get out and leave? Okay. Timmy. Timmy is sick. Okay. Timmy, of course. Day 16. As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Uh. Timmy, you can have some water. And food. Fuck it. Okay. Apocalypse or not, we can't ignore our kids' educational needs. Timmy spent too much time without reading a single thing. We need him to get a, uh, get him to read again. Otherwise, he will grow up to be an alphabetical, an alphabetical savage. And wait, an alphabetic? Oh, an alphabetic savage. Okay, we're gonna. He can learn how to play checkers or chess if we have chess pieces. There you go. Timmy, have fun with checkers. Dolores is back. Dolores looks tired. Doesn't look sick. We got plus one food. Um, what else do we get? Plus one. Oh, we don't have a gas mask anymore. Okay. I'm going to feed them on the 19th. We should, no. Let's not prepare. We don't need it. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if there was a store around the corner has still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes appear a feet away. We only had moments. We're going to look at it with a flashlight. Hopefully, Ted does not get injured again. Sounds like a dog. That was a dog. Ted is not injured. Okay, so we decided to check what's coming with a flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay for us for the night. Um... Okay, we're fine. We are so fine. We don't need to prepare. Okay, we are fine. Is that Timmy? Please don't be. Oh, I mean, was that Ted? We stopped arguing, but for how long? Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Yeah, they're all hungry, and this is the feeding day, so have fun. There you go. Uh, Dolores, I'm gonna send you out. Okay, during our latest uh, expedition, we ran into a smelly man in torn up clothes. We recognized him as an old bum named Jim who used to roam the streets of our town before the bomb fell. Now he roams the wasteland and it looks like he followed us home. Now he's banging on our door asking if we want to buy a rock. Well, do we? Fuck yeah, we want to buy a rock. Do we have to give him something? No noises, so we should be fine. Dolores, you do not look good. What happened to you? Old man Jim was always lovely and friendly to everyone, so of course we opened the door and fulfilled his request. He winked at us, and the first rock was for free. Um, Dolores came down with a sickness. Okay. Wish we had a med kit, but we don't. Feeding them on the 24th. No, Ted, you can't leave. That was sleeping. Someone's got sleep or something. Uh, Timmy is still quite sickly. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Okay. That was nothing. Nothing happened that day. Our situation is getting worse every day. We can see the hunger and desperation in each other's eyes. We know a teacher from a local school rescued a bunch of kids when the bomb fell. We also know what kind of supplies are in the school shelter or shelter as part of the community we help stock it for an emergency so technically they're ours right should we reclaim them in an hour of our need hell yeah dude we're about to go steal some shit make sure it's timmy day 22 if someone sneezes timmy oh what are you all insane we are now richer in some supplies, but for some reason we don't really feel good about it. Timmy's rested. Ted has gone crazy. You, you all should eat and drink. Because we have so much food. Um, okay, what's this? This should, this should be easy. Okay. I don't know what that was. Day 23. Just the radio making noises. Oh, okay. A quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left them a message in a bottle. If we don't do anything about Timmy's sickness, it might get worse. You all ate yesterday, so you're all fine. 
We're about to take a cautious peek outside when the furry bees jump on us. Good thing our hearts were not battered by a fat, heavy hamburger diet. Because it was our dog friend and not a mutant lurking to chew our bones. Good boy. He seems to be very hungry. Shall we give him, yeah, give him some soup. We have like so many to go. Where's Timmy? Um, Timmy was very sick and there was nothing we could have done to make it better. He understood it and probably decided he's better off far away from such irresponsible parents. He left and never came back. Dog was back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what we put, what was they put in that soup, but man, that stuff is good. We decided to, we named the dog Pancake. Um... I forgot what day I fed you guys. If it's just you two, there's plenty to go around. So let's just feed you guys so you don't die on me. Um, Ted, how about you not go crazy on me? That'd be very nice. Ted, you're still crazy? Come on, I've been feeding and drinking. Um, giving water and food to you. Still, it's better to be safe down here than end up dead. Dolores is doing quite well. Okay, so Dolores seems to be recovering. Should be fine on that part. No! I don't know what that just said. Oh, I just skipped it. Day 26. I hear flies. We couldn't contain our laughter and guests and our guests took offense. They ran off shouting that their ancestors were rodents and smelled like forest fruits. How rude. Um, where's this all? But we don't know how to help him. Let's just feed you guys some more so you don't die on me. Okay. God damn it, nothing. Okay. Nothing in between. Okay, so we're still fine. Day 27. How long does it take? Dolores is quite calm. There's nothing to go, Ted. Nothing new. You guys just ate and drank. You're fine. We were closed off in a tiny shelter, and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of the local retirement home. They must have some supplies. We need them more. The well-being of our, your family is the most important thing in the world, right? No, we're not going to kill old ladies because then Ted will go even more crazy. <laughs> that sounds like Dolores. Okay. Rubbing into some people? Absolutely not. Dolores is rested. Ted isn't actually acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disturbing. We should be fine. I'll feed them tomorrow. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase that has no address. Um, yeah, let's open up the leather suitcase. Sure. Oh, Ted, you got sick, too. It was an innocent-looking bottle of water, so we took a sip. We thought it would be lucky, but it was all a lie. Either that water was irradiated... Or it was some kind of biological weapon, so Ted, you're a dumbass, that was all my fault, I'm so sorry, you guys can eat and drink, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, oh wait, 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 Dolores, you're gonna go out next, uh, Pancake came back today very agitated about something, he really wants us to get out and follow him somewhere in the neighborhood, this seems a bit risky, but Pancake's on the trail of something big, what gear should we take, we're gonna take the axe, just in case, day 30, what did we find? Okay, we got plus four water. Holy crap, look at the gallon. Life is hard for all of us right now. You both are fine. You both can drink and eat. You are so fine. I'm going to send out Dolores. You're going to go out with the... You're going to go out with... I want to give her the axe or the flash. Um, You can have the axe. Go. Have fun. Dolores is now gone. It's just me. Okay. Um. You can have this. You're fine. Uh. The gas mask is ours in no shape to wear unless it's Halloween. We can still make. So we're using the Boy Scout handbook to fix the gas mask? Oh, damn. That's cool. Our map is torn up. Thanks. Um. Dragon Way. Our map was messed up. Uh, we just fed you and gave you drinks. Okay. How are we still alive? 
Day 33. Ted, you look a lot more crazier now that this beard thing's going on. You got the, your little sock puppet. Okay. All set. The canisters are all in place and safe back home. Uh, you can have this. Just don't die on me, Ted. I really wish I had a med kit, Ted. You'd know I use it on you. Damn it. Okay. Hopefully Dolores can find a med kit. So you have another one so you don't die. Every smell attacks our noses in the shelter instantly. There is much we can miss. So when a single brick fell out from the wall revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole and see what sort of smell that is. There you go. Ted, you're already crazy. Is that Dolores? How did Ted make that high pitch of a noise? I mean, of a cough. Oh, we found plus one. Okay. You can have soup. You're fine. Do to do, do. How are you still alive, Ted? There's the little Timmy cough, but for some reason it comes from Ted. Whatever. Where's Dolores? Uh, you can have this. I really don't want you to die. There we go. Day 37. Damn. I don't know if this is good for a first run. We're trying our best to remain calm. Doesn't matter. Wait, what does it say? A pair of strangers probably bandits searched the remains of our house above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they capture a woman whose description matched Dolores. We don't think they will let her go. No, Dolores, why? Oh, come on. So it's just Ted. Yay. Ted, I'm going to send you out on the journey, okay? Have fun. Just don't die on me. Day 38. Oh, my God. Ted, you do not look good. Ha, ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. So we can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there. Okay, Ted, you have that because you're the only one alive. I'm sending out you, Ted, and you're going to have the gas mask so you don't die out there. The end. What? Did I beat it? Um, we found access to our house restricted by concrete barriers and a small platoon of heavily armed soldiers patrolling the area around it. We thought that our ticket out of here. They just took everything we had and chased us off in the wasteland. Guess we'll be hunter-gatherers now, like in the good old Stone Age days? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. We survived 45 days. You were driven away. That's annoying. Is that it? Radio, okay, loading screen. That's it. Well, okay. If you guys like this and want to see more 60 seconds, because I do plan on beating it at Fat Man, um, the medium difficulty, I will. But drop a like. Like goal is five likes for today. And um, share this with all your friends. And if you did really, really enjoy it, you might as well just subscribe. That's it. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. See you.